Okay, so uh, I uncovered something very interesting. Can you tell me what's down there? Yeah, usually they use uh, they use things like that right there with the, the Phillips head on it to hold up your uh, two by fours yeah, when so they this, frame your house. This guy right here, that's a, that's, that's a wood screw. So if you guys are new to my channel, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoy it and consider subscribing if these are the kinds of cars and projects you like to see. This is definitely something I'd like to see finished because it's been sitting here for quite some time. This is my 2015 Mercedes-Benz S65 AMG and up until about a month ago, it was my daily driver. That's right, I did drive this every day, but that's until we found some very not good bodywork. I mean, this entire side of the car is just horrible. And the person responsible for finding out that this bodywork is horrible is Jack. You guys know Jack? Jack I made is, his shop dusty. He made my shop dusty. Jack is here and we're gonna, we're gonna work on this car. The reason why I wanted to do all this is not just because I want this car to look as good as it can. Honestly, the car looked fine and I probably could have gotten away with it. I wanted to make sure that this car was also safe because I didn't know what bodywork was underneath it. I didn't know what was gonna happen to it in a crash and I really didn't wanna put my family or anybody I cared about in this car to have them go do whatever this car does. But since we're on the topic of safety, I wanted to introduce today's sponsor, Surfshark, which is exactly what you guys need to keep yourselves safe on the internet. That was a good segue, right? Yeah, definitely. You don't look very convinced. No, that was, that was great. All right, so let me tell you why you need Surfshark VPN. A VPN is a virtual private network that protects your connection while you're using the internet. Surfshark VPN gives you the power to protect your online privacy, control your personal data, access content safely, unlock exclusive benefits, and it has a 30-day money-back guarantee. And it's even better when you're a traveler because you can easily access and unblock streaming platforms, plus get different content libraries around the globe. Just pick a server, connect, and you'll be good to stream. And you can change your virtual location. If you're traveling, connect back to your country and don't miss out on your home comforts anytime, anywhere. You can also stay safe on public Wi-Fi, send or receive files securely, get the best deals when online shopping, and access your bank safely even if you're on public Wi-Fi. That's a really big one for me because I need to know how uh, broke I am after spending all my money on car parts. Just download the VPN using my link and the promo code in the video description below. And with the 24 month plan, you'll get three months for free. And don't forget, there's a 30 day money back guarantee. There is no downside. Go check it out right now. All right, so let's begin. We have a car here that needs some work and we have a bunch of parts on the car that need to go bye-bye. And uh, the reason why we waited for so long is because we're actually waiting for the parts to get here. Now, we did have the doors in the last episode. We had the, the front and rear doors on the passenger side, but then I figured that I needed a fender because Jack did all this and he realized that this fender is, uh, what, what's, what's the word you used? Garbage, Garbage. Um, yes. uh, trash, recyclable, uh, uh, basura. So I got, I got this guy, and uh, this was like 700 bucks. This thing that doesn't weigh, I mean, it really doesn't weigh anything. It's made of aluminum, and it looks like it's just one stamping with some spot welds in it, and it probably took them 35 seconds to make, and it probably cost them about $6. Uh, There's no it spot welds on that. Huh? No spot welds. There's no spot welds on here? It's just rivets. This is why Jack is here. We are going to take off this, the doors, and uh, everything else necessary, and then we're gonna start putting the new panels on, and then Jack is gonna get done with uh, the, the bodywork in the back. I don't really feel like getting this dirty. Oh, come on. It's not okay, fi fine, I'll get dirty. I, okay, dirty. okay, fine, I'll get dirty, I'll get dirty. Jeez. Can we get dirty? Let's get dirty. Let's get dirty. And then we can fix the car. <laughs> <laughs>
Okay, so uh, I uncovered something very interesting. Can you tell me what's down there? Yeah, usually they use uh, they use things like that right there with the, the Phillips head on it to hold up your uh, two by fours yeah, when so they this, frame your house. This guy right here, that's a, that's, that's a wood screw. That's a hallmark of a good body shop, right? I was wondering why the side skirt wasn't coming off and uh, now I know, so I'm gonna take that off and then see, hopefully they didn't uh, ruin anything, but uh, who knows? They Maybe won the battle. Yeah, they, but we're gonna we're gonna win the war because yeah. I, I I need to drive this car. I can't like it's a beautiful car. We need to get you back in this car. We might need to uh, order a new uh, rocker. No, no, no. Probably just it, it's probably through the clip going through the rocker through the clip. I bet you all the clips are broken. I'm, I'm guaranteeing this clips are broken <laughs> after seeing that. Not, okay, okay, that's, that's savable. The rocker is not gonna be okay. trash. All right. I'm going to hold you to that, and when the rocker's trash, I'm going to say I told you so. Well, I mean, we did find a million holes down the side of the car. We so. did. You said, oh, the, the fender's probably fine, and look at what the fender looks like. Yeah. So, uh... I should have known better when they shaved Can you cross your finger? Line. Cross your fingers, please. Mm-hmm. Are you crossing those? Oh, there we go. There we go. So there have been uh, some interesting developments and I took off the old fender and I don't know if you can see a, a difference here, but this is the repair that the previous body shop did. Notice that on the new panel, there is a piece that's riveted in here that's like an inner structure and that structure is missing like that just they just cut it off and then they just fiberglassed a bunch of crap into here and that's why the body line wasn't there i don't think like there's no amount of like filling or anything that that would get that body line back to where it's supposed to be because the second you would dolly this out it would just crack all yeah. this and then this would just become floppy oh my gosh so i mean a lot of you thought that we could probably fix this there's not really any fixing this. Like this is just scrap at this point. Uh, so I'm really glad that we got an OEM panel. This is Absolutely. not an aftermarket panel. It's straight from Mercedes. Uh, so now all we got to do is we're going to clean up everything because it looks uh, just disgusting. And then we're going to put on the new body panels and then the doors uh, so we can fit them up so Jack can start doing the uh, body work in the back, right? Yeah, let's get started with that. This. That's, I'm super happy now that we've seen this because part of me was like, man, that's not really that bad. We can repair it, but the well, better- I mean, look at, they just cut yeah, this right they, here. Yeah, they drilled out the rivet here. They didn't clean anything up. It, it was just, just garbage. <laughs> and I think, so this, the, all this crap right here, it's supposed to be cavity wax, but cavity wax is what you put on uh, metal that you've treated, mm -hmm. uh, like just to make sure it doesn't, it doesn't rust or corrode. Uh, do you see any over here? Yeah, no, you don't need it there. Yeah, you know? don't need it where you actually cut the metal, yeah. right? <laughs> they just put it on the dirt. <laughs> I, I wonder if that's factory, because I do know that they do put factory wax in there, but that, that looks like they tried to cover their sins. And, uh, yeah, maybe. Uh, oh man, this yeah. this is so, this is bad. This is why you don't go to cheap body shops. 100%. Like this right here, 100%. it is. This is, huh. this is why everything costs ten to $15,000, because I gotta go back and fix everybody else's mistakes. That's, that's true. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Jack is angry. <laughs> Okay guys, so the S65 has all the body panels fit and now we gotta deal with this. Uh, as you guys can remember from the previous video, there was a lot of body filler, it was very unnecessary. They have a lot of damage caused to the quarter panel here where they punched holes in it to pull out the body line. Uh, it's a bit wavy as you go over the arch line here, you see it kind of whoops out. So what I gotta do now is I gotta clean out all of that body filler, but let me just give you guys a look inside so you can see what it looks like on the inside. Just like the doors, you can see it has the wormholes poking through. There we go, there's a good shot of it. But 
The next step for me is to get this thing sorted out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to weld up all these holes, grind them down smoothly, and then start my body work, which won't take me very long because it wasn't that bad to begin with. It was just done by somebody whose skills were a little less than good. Uh, by a little less than good, I mean they sucked. I just have to get this thing here. There's a little bit of a dent there, but as you can see, it's really, it's really not that bad. I, I have the doors lined up to where the transition is good. The deepest point of my my dent is like right around this area, and that's really not bad. It's not even catching my nail as I go over it. But all right, guys. So now you see what I got to do. Let's get started. My welding is done, everything is ready. The next step for me is to grind this down with 80 grit on a DA, actually, well, sand it down with 80 grit on a DA, uh, take away all this terrible body work that's been here previously, and start from fresh. I'll be doing metal work, then I'll be doing filler work. I wanna get it as close as possible so that my filler work is super easy and it doesn't take me a long time to do. Uh, you know the drill, guys, let's get this done. This thing is awesome, guys. I don't wanna hear any more complaining about dust on these floors because even though the cars are still a little dusty, they will not be dusty anymore thanks to this guy. Uh, you guys can see right here, like there's barely any dust. This is the dust that came off the edge right here. And a little bit there, a little bit there, but there is nothing on the floor. There's barely any dust. I mean, that is freaking awesome. I'm stoked about that because now I can keep the shop cleaner myself because uh, you guys may not know this, but I'm actually a little bit of a neat freak and I don't like to get dirty. Go figure, I picked the dirtiest job ever. But check out the clothes. The clothes are not even dirty. My hands are pretty clean. I feel good about this, but I just want you guys to know that from now on with this machine right here, I'm gonna be able to do things like this all day long here in the shop. So super stoked about that. Next step, metal repair.
last time I did this is like sprayed all in my face. Don't you just hate when it sprays all over your face? So you are about to do some priming because now the metal is untreated and has some filler on it, right? Yeah, yeah. So we got rid of all the bad body work and uh, we did some more good body work. And uh, the metal work was good. I filled in all the holes, as you'll see from the earlier part of the video. Everything is ready to go. So this is the final step before paint. So we're gonna have it primed, let it sit for a couple days. Then we're gonna take it to the paint shop and everything should be good from there. Cool, and uh, we also have to prime it right now because uh, you can't see it, but it gonna rain. Yeah. It's, it's, uh, it's about to rain, so uh, time is of the essence. So let me go Darth Vader and then we'll get this done. Hurry up! I am your father. No, you're not. Wait, are you? Yep. All right, so it looks, this car looks crazy, man. Like, I don't, I, I don't know. How, are we gonna put this car back together? We don't ever finish any projects around here. What are you talking about? So now this is primed. Uh, we have to pull it inside because it's raining outside. And honestly, it looks pretty good. You see the body line right there is restored. And this only needs a little bit more work, right? You just need to do some putty. Yeah, I missed a pinhole. We got a pinhole like right there. It's actually like a crater, but uh, that that's not that bad. We just do a little swipe before we block it out and get everything prepped. But uh, for the most part, everything looks good. It, the metal work is good. The uh, car had a bunch of uh, holes in there, like you'll see, but we repaired all those, welded it shut, and then did the metal work, pulled all the metal back out, did the filler work and primed it. And we should be ready to paint it in a couple days. Okay, so then we can actually put it to paint. And now we have everything new. All of the damage, all of the damage that was previously here is gone, correct? Yeah, yeah. the only thing that is repaired on the car now is actually the quarter panel. Everything else is brand new. And uh, good thing because what we found on that fender was absolute garbage. Yeah, so. it, was, it was pretty bad. But one thing is interesting because this is a steel panel and what you said was that they could have actually repaired this way simpler than what they did. It seemed like they just didn't know what they were doing at all. Yeah, that was the, the level of uh, repair there was just very amateur. Uh, I mean, even though you could be an amateur and do a good job, this was just something that was like, they put way too much filler. They put holes in the panel. Mm -hmm. uh, really, if if this would have come to me, I would have actually used glue to pull this back out. I am so excited. I finally get my car back. I mean, just take a look at this leather. Oh, uh, it's just, it's it's a real nice place to be. It's, it still smells pretty good. Um, it's gonna smell a little bit body shoppy, but uh, nothing that a nice long drive can't fix. Yeah, exactly. 260 or 460. What? Yeah, four windows at 60 miles an hour. It'll take all the paint smell out. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what they teach you at body shop school? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. When they four. complain about the body shop smell, you just tell them roll the windows down, you're good. All right, so that's gonna be it for today's episode. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, I can't wait to get that car. Can you even see? Can't wait to get that car uh, to the paint shop because it's been a very, very long time and I want a Mercedes to drive. Uh, I don't know if you know this, but uh, this car, is very nice. It's a, it's a Hellcat and it's very, very, very expensive on fuel. This thing should be a lot, lot nicer and I can't wait. And I'm gonna do some custom touches to it when it goes to the paint shop. So hopefully you guys stick around for that. But until next time, this is me reminding you guys that on cars like that, that have a fairly big transformation, you guys should always build them better. And to do that, you should wrench every day. So are we gonna, uh, are we gonna paint this here? Here.
Yeah. You're going to get everything overspray on it. I'm going to get overspray on Okay. So. So here. You can't do that here. You can't? We got somewhere else we can take it. 